Yo, what up everybody? It's your boy. Time to do some 2017-18 Donruss basketball. Five boxes of it. Break number 19. Which means there was uh, 18 prior to this one, believe it or not. eBay style. Oh, whoa. Let there be light. That was bright. All right. Go ahead and open up this bad boy. How, how's your day been, Pappy? Alright, so we're just going to get the top four. pick this one boom five have been chosen dude that's a heavy case bro what it do chase so pappy the 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 select box is no bueno but the limited football was bueno let's hope uh, to get some bueno out of this that's uh that's spanish for good Last I checked. Let's uh let's open this up. And hey, meet Abraham if you haven't met him. He you know he 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 usually works, but sometimes, you know, he he be acting naughty. Let's see how he's feeling today. Good luck everybody. Whoa He's in a good mood today. Oh boy. Let's see uh let's see what let's see what comes out of this. I know, I know definitely for a fact we're going to get a, a lot of base cards, for sure. That I can promise you. Dude, that select is not until midnight. I was hoping we could get a run at some of the stuff we have in the store, man. I mean, flawless baseball, you know, is really nice stuff. I reduced prices on that thing, and I'm giving away the $100 break credit deal. So let's 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 at least work on that. And Spectre Basketball too. Good very nice stuff in there. Alright, before I open this up, I do need some form of uh carrying device for these base cards that are about to swarm me. What up, uh, Kevin? What up, Lambo? Fitzy, how, how the hell are how the hell are you? All right, I got the I got the monster box. All is well in the world. All right. What up, JG? So Spectre Basketball could use some love and affection. Lakers got a loaded checklist. Bucks got a nice checklist. You know, they got the Malcolm Brogdon Rookie of the Year cards in there. Because, you know, he was a rookie in 16-17. So rookie cards for that young buck. Celtics, Jalen Brown rookies. This is Donner's Basketball, Kevin. You are a correcta mundo. And as a matter of fact, uh, at some point in the night, I will be putting up the PYTs of uh, Contenders Basketball. Oh, yeah. I believe that comes out either Wednesday or Friday. One of those two. It comes out this week for show. I think. I could I could be wrong, you know, I could be wrong. 
which is uh, usually the case. Alright, so that looks like either a dummy card or a patch card. Alright. Who's in this break? Curious. I would like to put good mojo in the air. Alrighty. Let's uh let's give this a go. Good luck, peeps. Now I'm gonna be separating the veteran base, which is that. From inserts and rookies, which are those. What do we have here? We got Jarrett Allen to 199 for the Nets. Can you like? What up, Scott? How are you? What up, uh, Brandon? My dude got the magic. Let's see if we can. Whoa, who are you looking for, Jonathan Isaac? Inserts. Mm. Rated rookies. The Wundu for the Magic as well. I haven't seen the the Magic play at all, honestly. They got some nice pieces on 2K though. I have uh, played against them on 2K, and they're they are they are they are. They are. Dude, I went in on 2K last night. Got finally got my finally got my got to got to make my own shoe. I felt like a kid again. And now they have this thing where like you can make your own jump shot in 2K. So I made my own jump shot, but that thing wet like water. So I dude, I, I went in just like Trevor Ariza for the Rockets to 299. Rockets are definitely going in this season. I don't think there's any basketball games on tonight. Due to the fact that the All-Star game was last night. And that thing was actually not, not bad. I didn't really get to see the game. So uh, I've seen the, the highlights. And it was pretty close, more or less, the, the entire time. Which is what you want, you know. You you want them boys out there competing. I think la like last year, dude, they had like a crazy score. It was like a hundred and eighty something points to like one sixty. Like it was stupid numbers. That's actually a pretty uh, pretty nice patch there for the Clippers. Part of ten, Jawan Evans. My favorite baseball team by default would have to be the Marlins. I mean, I don't really watch baseball, to be honest with you. Last year, I mean, I used to when I was a kid, when I used to play baseball. And then I stopped playing baseball, so I stopped watching baseball. And, I mean, I'm, I'm you know, I'm a South Florida boy. I rep all the home teams, so I might as well root for the Marlins, too. It's, it's, only, it's only right. I'm not going to root for, like, the Yankees or the Red Sox or some stupid. So ridiculous, you know. I ain't never been there, so why would I root for them? For the Pelicans, that's actually a nice looking card. Dominator for Frank Jackson. That's pretty that's a pretty nice looking card. That is a nice looking card. Dude, Kevin, uh plates and patches is sold out, homie. So if you are going to get it somewhere, it's going to be on resale, and it's going to be, like, dumb expensive.
nothing. Uh, catching my eye here. Just so much base. I mean, the Raider rookies are pretty dope, but obviously, you want them boas numbered and or with some ink on it. Ink always makes it more better. Uh, James Johnson to 199 for the Heat. Hopefully, the Heat can turn it around, man. The Heat were doing pretty decent in the uh, in the beginning, somewhat. And then we got to 29 wins, and then we kind of just we kind of just stopped playing basketball for like a good two week period leading up to the uh, the All Star break. You know, we got D Wade back and all that stuff, which is awesome. Uh, I can't I can't understate enough what that means not only for the city but just for the team as well. You know, D Wade is the best player we've ever had, and to have him back is everything. It's you know it's it's kind of like when Michael Jordan came back to uh, to Chicago to play for the Bulls. I mean seriously, to us it's that that big of a deal. You know what I mean? Uh, Paul George is right now for the Thunder. So hopefully the Heat can turn it around because when they play when they play Miami Heat basketball, which is you know straight up gritty defense, you know making making everything a fight. We can uh, we can make some noise. But that's basketball. Getting back to your baseball question, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to have to be the Marlins. Which I'm curious what they're going to look like this year because they pretty much they scrapped the entire team. Our first ever MVP in, uh, in franchise history, Stanton. He's not even with us anymore. You know, he, he got traded to the, to the Yankees who were, uh, I think they were like, I, I don't know. I don't. I don't remember. Were they in the World Series? No, no, they weren't. But they were close to getting to the World Series. I do remember that. As a really young team, so Yankees might make some noise this season. Who knows? I I'm super curious to see what the what the Marlins are gonna look like. Cause now we got new ownership. That's why they pretty much got rid of everybody. I think they even got rid of like the entire staff. Like they got new concession people working out there too and everything. They got brand new earth thing. They got brand new dolphins in that little sequarium they got out there. Like it's 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 ridiculous. No, I don't think it's a is, is it a sequarium or an aquarium? Whatever. One of those aquariums. You know, All-Star Game in Miami last year was pretty cool. We got a pretty nice uh, stadium. I've been there a few times. And it's nice. It's nice. Uh, I would love to see it packed. That would be awesome. What about you, uh, Lucky Dog? As I uh, embark on this journey of opening up packs. Upon packs, upon packs. Uh, how's everybody's day going? It is Monday. The Oreos. Are you are you from Baltimore? Which I think would make you maybe if you watch football a Ravens fan. I don't, I don't know. What up, Degrom? Just just ripping a little uh, little Donruss basketball. That's all. Baltimore. Does Baltimore have a basketball team? 
I mean, who 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 do you root for in, in basketball? What is that, Baltimore? Where's Baltimore at in Maryland? I don't think there's a big basketball team in Maryland. I can't think of. Maybe the closest team, maybe the Wizards. Or you, or you could just root for the Heat, you know what I'm saying? Because LeBron, he coming back to Miami next year. He might. I don't think. I don't think so. I think. I think it's a long shot. I at this point, I really honestly think he might go to the Warriors, bro. If LeBron ends up going to the Warriors, like, what's that gonna do? Like, is there even a point in playing the NBA season? Can we just go straight to the playoffs? Like they might, they might be like the first ever eighty win team if LeBron goes to uh, to the Warriors. That would be ridiculous. What up, uh, Tomas in the house? What up, bro? You just walked into uh, some Donruss basketball. Blake Griffin to two ninety nine for them Clippers. I am going to put up a Contenders PYT uh, at some point in the night. After I'm done with this, uh, I do have another break coming up at 8 o'clock. That T-shirt basketball. And uh, depending on, well, no, I'm probably not going to be done. Because uh, <laughs> this thing usually takes me a, close to an hour to do, so... Be on the lookout for that uh, that contender, dude. That contender's basketball looks nice. It looks nice, especially with the with this draft class on it. What? We got a Zuki for the Rockets to turn in. I think that's how you pronounce his name. I hope that's how you, how you pronounce his name. Cause I mean, uh, no disrespect. Which, speaking of that, if you want to laugh at some words. I do got a hockey break coming up tonight at uh, at nine o'clock. So stay tuned to hear my like my pseudo Russian, Australian, Manchester United accent. You know, I, I try to I try to put that that European swag on the voice, which may or may not be funny. Donovan Mitchell winning the, uh, the 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 dunk contest. He might also even win the rookie of the year. Ben Simmons should not even be considered a rookie, which is kind of beyond me right now. What is this? Swishful thinking for Isaiah Thomas. That's actually kind of cool. The press proof business. That guy's kind of life is uh, kind of going into a just. It's been crazy for that dude. Dion Waiters to 189 for the Heat. It'd be nice to have Dion back. Yeah, <laughs> Tomas. That's and what did the, what did what did they tell you at the tax office? It is that time of year. Do them taxes. Well, I see what the uh, patch is going to be. But the autograph, where you at? Bam on a buy out of 99 for the heat. That's actually pretty nice. Oh, lucky dog. So you, uh, you're a Warriors fan? You, have you ever been to Golden State? Or are you just a fan? Cause are, are you one of, one of those, uh, what do we call them? Bandwagon fans? Huh? I mean, there's no shame in admitting it. If, if you are, hey, who doesn't want to root for the best team? You know? I, I, I understand. I get it. I get it.
Well, this looks like the signature. Well, it's not quite Steph Curry, but it kind of is. It's his daddy, Dale Curry, for the Hornets. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Go ahead and top load that. The autographs in Donner's basketball are super sweet. I will say this. I mean, the significant signatures, you know, the dominators, the rated rookies, the autographs are gorgeous. It's, uh, you see that amount of base cards? That's, 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 that's what's no bueno. Like, the inserts are cool, too. Like, those old school, you know, these old school retro series. Inserts are dope. Somebody get me in contact with those with the folks over at Don Rose Basketball. We got Markeith Morris of the Suns with a patch. What else we got here? Chicka chicka where where That's the second box. Oh, Josh, you shut your mouth. You have no idea what you're talking about. I feel you, lucky dog. So, 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 tell me, why do you root for the Warriors? I'm, uh, I am curious. Whoa, Josh. That is. There you go. That's that's better. How, how are you, sir? How how are you doing? How's your day? It's uh, maybe it's almost over. I don't know, but how, how the fuck are you? Enjoying your handsome chocolates. What? Your, oh, your handmade chocolates. My day, honestly, just started like an hour ago. Dude, I went home last night and I fucking played video games until the sun came up and then some. Like, I felt like a kid again. It was actually kind of cool. And I knocked out without setting an alarm. Because, you know, Mondays are usually my day off. And I forgot, you know, Jason's situation. And one thing led to another. I woke up. Seen the, seen the text from the CBJ. And I was like, oh shit. Alright, well. Let's get the show on the road. And then here I am. Damn, that's a thick ass pack. There's gotta be something nice, maybe, hopefully. Oh, got it, lucky dog. I understand, I understand. Well, see, I'm the. I guess you could say I'm the black sheep of my family. Whatever everybody likes to do, I don't do. Just for the sole purpose that I like to be a I like to be a rebel dog. I'm I'm crazy. I'm wild. I'm nuts. Well, there you go, Josh B. You stick you stick to your guns and you don't let nobody tell you what to do, man. It'd be nice to have a team back in Seattle, man. Not for nothing, but the Supersonics are pretty swag. Their jerseys have were like I don't think I ever saw 
a Sonics jersey that wasn't dope. And that's saying something. Because literally every franchise in in the, in the association has jerseys that are that are suspect. Well, I mean, it'd be it'd be cool if they like if they had like another expansion. You know, I, I think uh, I think now's a good time as ever to to add more teams to the NBA. Uh, it's the most popular it's ever been, and it'd be it'd be a nice way to get more talent into the league too. I feel like right now with uh, super teams, you know, few and far between. Adding some more teams maybe might spread the talent out, you know, open up some possibilities. I don't know. It just it would be nice to have a team in Seattle, and then maybe maybe add another team in Canada. That'd be kind of cool. I mean, not really, but a team in like St. Louis would be dope. You know, like a big, big sports towns. For the Nuggets, here's an auto for Will Barton. A team in Vegas for basketball would be kind of not. I mean, there are, aren't they already, are, aren't they getting a, a football team? Am I tripping on that? I know they got, I know they got a hockey team, the Golden Knights, who apparently are killing it. I mean, I don't, even, I don't really follow hockey like that. I just, you know, pick up on what you guys talk about in the chat. Yes, sir, Joel Jackson, sir. Uh, the Raiders. Oh, the Raiders are going to Vegas? Jeez. When's that going down? But anyway. Yeah, I mean, they're already, they got a hockey team. They're going to get a football team. So what's next? Might as well put a, put a baseball and a basketball team out there. Might as well. What would you call like the? Uh, so what? They're gonna are they gonna stay the Raiders? The 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 Las Vegas Raiders. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. The Golden Knights. See, at least they got they 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 put the golden in there to try to make it sound like Vegas Vegasy. You know, they they should shouldn't they have like Vegas themed like you know teams and whatnot like the 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 Reno slots. <laughs> that'd be that would be cool. The Reno slots would be the. Uh, the women's, the WNBA team. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Damn. It's either so this season or the next. And yeah, life comes at you fast, Raiders. You can you can ride a unicycle type tightrope and, st and and what lucky dog whoa Kemba Walker to 299 for the Hornets it's the Vegas Raiders yeah that's kind of I mean it's it's a I I guess it's a I so what so they're going for like a for like a, a gladiator kind of theme or something like a like like a fighter kind of deal. They got the Golden Knights. They got the Raiders. What's next? The uh, the fucking tro the Trojans or something. Well, what would you call the baseball team for Las Vegas? Darth Vader as the mascot. Yeah, that'll be the day. basketball I mean yeah we did hit the autograph I think we hit the patch already too no no we haven't uh, to 99 Jordan Bell for the Warriors you were in a circus class lucky dog 
How many clowns can you fit in a in a in a little car? Like I have a all right, Google this. I have a 2013 Honda Civic Coupe. How many clowns could you fit in that car? I I would like to know. Uh, Jordan Bell to 99 for the Warriors. That's that's pretty decent. There's there's a lot of good rookies this year. It's kind of cray. It's, it really is. Uh, it, it it's. It's not a stretch to say that every NBA team has a solid rookie. The Vegas Bombers, yo, kudos to you and whoever helped you come up with that name because I know you didn't come up with that name by yourself. That's actually a pretty cool name for like a baseball team. The Vegas Bombers. The Las, Ve the Las Vegas Bombers. I mean, given this day and age, I'm offended. How, how dare they call themselves the Bombers? Huh. What is this? For the uh, for the Lakers, that's actually pretty nice. Numbered one out of ten. Three color patch for Kyle Kuzma. That's nice. Twenty is the max. You can fit twenty. Damn, that's a lot of clowns. That's pretty sweet. That's a nice looking little patch on there, and it's numbered one out of ten. If that means something to you. Well, what is that? The old uh, eBay 101 business. Let me go ahead and top load it. I hit an autograph of his uh, a couple nights ago, too. It was pretty, that was pretty, pretty, pretty crazy case, actually. I think Magic in a, in a, what was it, Eddie Jones autograph in there, too? Different product, but you know, regardless. Ten out of ten, John Collins of the Hawks. That's actually kind of nice too. My dude made it to the uh, to the rookie sophomore game, which is basically what it is. I mean, let's call it what it is, people. You can call it the USA versus World, whatever. It was the rookie sophomore game, and he played in it. That means he good. 10 out of 10, John Collins Hawks. That's nice. And he legit is nice. It's, it's, just, it's just that he plays for the Hawks. That's what it is. If you played for the Cavaliers, oh, forget about it. Rookie of the year. Zizic is pretty solid, too. Terrence Ferguson for the Thunder. I mean, even the Thunder got a serviceable rookie. Like... And I don't mean just like just just getting the Starbucks and stuff. No, I mean like actually like putting in buckets and, and putting putting in work. Uh, what do we have here? The two ninety nine Delon Wright of the Raptors. There you go, Tomas. Maybe you could maybe later you can later on in the evening you can uh you can teach me how to do taxes. Cause it's it's time to grow up. It's time to be an adult. What is this? This oh, this is just an insert. A Ben Simmons, Court Kings insert. People talking about him, the rookie of the year. He's not a rookie, man. He sat out his entire rookie season due to injury. That ain't that ain't my fault. You ain't a rookie, bruh. Dude, Josh, man, come through. You know where you know where I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be there. Is it really, Tomas? I mean, you're not you're not taking into account my uh, my stupidity, which is always a factor. Well, that's the thing, Tomas. I don't I don't got that. We 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 don't do that around here. All right, we're on to box four. Poop Truth the Dupe in the house. What up? That's a great fucking name. What'd you do, uh, Josh? That way I know not to do it that. Chris Fitz, I love how, you know, you used to be the only person on YouTube. 
and now you're like the the only person on breakers uh, 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 shout outs to Chris Fitz for being the rebel of the group you filed under the wrong state well damn that's kind of that's kind of crazy Uh, Lucky Dog, I think uh, Target, Walmart, places like that, or or a, a, a local uh, hobby shop, your local card shop too. It's, there's this thing called Google.com where you can type in what you're looking for, basically, literally. You can literally go. You can literally go to Google.com and type in where can I buy card sleeves in my near me or something because your computer knows your computer knows where you're at I should hold it I should hold a class for Google I'm like a Google God I know all the tips I, I can Google you anything bruh Where there's a will, there's a way. Ex exactly. Exactly. No, but seriously, uh, Lucky Dog. I'm sure you have a Walmart. Walmart sells like everything, dog. Everything. Pappy, I have no, I have no idea. But, you know, you can ask him. Who am I to tell you? What you can or can't ask. Hey, you know what I'm saying? You know, until I started this job, I didn't know there were this many different ty uh, top loaders, too. I thought there was it was just the good old regular regular, and and I've also seen like the big old thick the the mags the the one touches or whatever like back in the day. And then I found out you got your you got your fifty fives you got your seventy fives you got your hundos you got one twenties you got one thirties you got one eighties you got slider boxes you got the the one touch the mags. And there's other shit out there too that I don't even know about. All right. This is box four. Let's see what we got here. There are booklet one touches and mags. Yeah, see, I've never, never seen those, but it was within the the realm of my imagination. Dude, there's even top loaders for like six by ten portraits or whatever. Like, cray, cray, cray. For the for the for the box toppers and whatnot. Uh, to 189 Jonathan Isaac Magic. There you go. You got a job at Lowe's and you're literally sitting in the department watching. Well damn. Spread the word, dog. Put me over the loudspeaker. Can I can I speak to the people at Lowe's? What depart what department are you working at, bro? Oh, you're working you're in the paint department. So, okay, duh. I answered my own question there. All right, so you're in the paint. Are you are you working in the paint department? Is the question. I've actually never been inside a Lowe's. It's all about that Home Depot dog shit, gang gang. Home Depot gang out here, dog. We repping that orange, bro. We don't fuck with Lowe's.
Uh, does the what fall under stupid eBay questions, Josh? All eBay questions are stupid questions. <laughs> no, oh, I'm kidding. There have actually been some some pretty pretty thoughtful messages that have actually helped out. So, shout outs to them. But they're in the minority. I ain't even gonna lie. I'm gonna keep it 100. Anthony Davis to 199 for the Pelicans. You just got the job like a week ago, and you can't even tell me where you, what department you're working at, dog. What? Question: Do they drug test at your job? I'm trying. I'm trying to see something right quick. A Stephen Curry social thinking insert. Oh, and you do. Oh, okay. Got it. Damn, dog. Chilling in the paint department. So what do you do? Do you, like, approach people? You try to you try to move that paint? You trying to sell that paint? You trying to push that uh, that, that brand new eggplant paper, ma paper, paper mache or whatever? I don't know. Yeah, I probably did, Josh. Whatever. Let's move past that. And now I want to know... Like what your job? What 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 does your job entail? Any color blue? <laughs> what color blue you need? I got that cerulean, Cer however you pronounce that. I got that sky blue. I got that turquoise. I got I got all types of blue. Shout it. Demarcus Cousins to two ninety nine for the Pelicans. I need that Pelican blue. Hook that up, dog. Go ahead and take a sample of that. Blah, yow. My dog literally goes hard in the paint. Literally. You should, yo, you should bump that all throughout the paint department. Just bump, bump the PG version of Walker Fall, Walk of Flames. I go hard in motherfucking paint. I go hard in the paint. Leah, what the, you, that, that's pretty much what it would sound like. So people can come up with their own lyrics. Like, I know what he's saying, but I can't say that, so. I go hard in the mother freaking paint. Uh, Malik Monk to two ninety nine. dollars for the Hornets. You just sell paint and I mix it, but do you, do you, like, really sell the paint, though? Do you, like, really sell the paint? Chris Fitz, tell me about it. That's why I'm trying to. Not only entertain you, but mostly myself by talking just random shit as I do this. Otherwise, it'd be dead silent, and that's not good for either of us. Uh, what is this? Rondé Hollis Jefferson for the Nets with a patch? Seriously, though, do you, like, seriously sell that paint, though? Like, do you approach people that walk past you? Ma'am, do you need your house painted? Do you need a paint? Do you need to paint something? I got what you need. I got that paint. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, do you, do you have a sales pitch? Like, how many hues of blue in a day do you ha do you have sales quotas? Like, I got so many questions. That's one thing. I'm good for questions. No question, though. This is actually a pretty nice uh, RPA. No, it's not an RPA. Is it? Derek White? Is he a rookie? No, I think that's DeJounte Murray. I think this is his second year. Uh, right here, I think Derek White was a rookie last year. I'm not sure. Either way, patch auto to 75 for the Spurs. Pretty decent. Derek White. It's not bad. It's not bad. Solid player. I'm the Billy Mays of paint. That's all I need to know. There you go. That's what I'm saying, dog. R.I.P. to Billy Mays, bro. Often imitated, never duplicated. Billy Mays was that dude when it came to just pushing whatever. But wait, there's more. Isn't that is that one of his sayings or was that or is that the Shamwell guy? You know who I don't like? Anthony Sullivan. You know who I'm talking about. Things that think this that that British dude. 
I don't know. Some about him. I don't know. Some, some about the way he tries to push that 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 vegetable chopper. I don't know. It freaks me out. Anyway, Derek White, Spurs, boom. I don't like, and there's this other dude too who's like, there's this there's this product that like it's like a rubber paint. Hey, that, there you go. Is there is there such a thing as rubber paint? Like this guy has like a spray can, where like the commercial goes, and and I'm and I'm I'm freestyling here, but more or less the commercial's like, oh the you know, someone's in a boat and there's like a leak in it, and like they spray paint it with this rubber paint, and it plugs up the leak, and then like they keep on chilling in the boat. Is this true? Is this true? The flex seal. There it is. <laughs> That sounds about right. And it works too. <laughs> ah, that shit works, dog. I got it. It works. <laughs> ah, that's great. Yo, I don't know. But that shit to me just seems so, ch like, I don't know. Like, I, I, I feel like, where the where is this rubber coming from? Like, can I, can I, can I straight up spray paint a tire? Like, what, what's going on here? Like, the possibilities now are astounding. The implications. It's all about the implication. All right. I, you know, I, I think the only thing that I've ever gotten out of these, uh, out of those for TV for sale things or whatever, like the Flex Seal, I don't think that's something you could just straight up pick at your local Presidente or whatever the fuck or your Krugers or Krogers or however you pronounce that shit. Or whatever your convenience store is, the Wawa or whatever. Can't you like only order that online or like through the through the through the teeth through the like the telephone or whatever? Get that flex seal at Wally World. You feel me? Oh damn, well damn, yeah. See? Wally World. Always coming through. Walla, 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 walla world. Yo, everybody should watch that video right now. Josh Barnes, by any chance, are you talking about that New Orleans bounce dude with the whole Wally world? Or, or is that what just people do? Uh, we are talking about Walmart, aren't we? When people refer to Wally world, I, I, I assume it's Walmart. Am I correct in this assumption? Well, listen, Joel. If if there if there is one place that has it, it's it's Wally World, Walmart, baby. Wally, 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 Wally World. Yo, I need everybody to watch that video at some point tonight. Somebody remind me about Wally World when I have the time. Cause uh, after this, I'm gonna do some T-shirt b-ball. Probably after that. There's this video of this dude who makes like this, these hood rat ass songs. And the videos are just like crazy X. Like, they're not X rated, but they might as well be. You had a lady ask you where generators were, and you point in some direction because you honestly don't know. And you think you just sent her to the lumber section. Yeah, you did. Uh, Lucky Dog, do I have any pets? Uh, I have Abraham. Right there. But uh, other than that, I don't. I don't. I wish I. I wish I could have a pet. I would need a pet that I could like bring into the office, type shit. Choker's about to give her that wood. You know what I'm saying? About to give her that four by eight, or whatever. About to lay, lay her down on that plywood and, uh, you know what I'm saying? Get a ferret. Ooh. That sounds exotic. It's a seasonal job, so I'm going to be done in May. A mongoose sounds badass. In case, uh, how about I just go straight up get a, just get a wolverine? Fuck it.
Ooh, if I could get any pet. Ooh, now we're getting. Now, now we are getting like. All right, I got it. So, I've had dogs. I believe it or not, I even had a chicken when I was little. I, you know, it's it's a it's a it's a Hispanic thing. I think every Hispanic, at at, at some point in their life, has had a chicken or some or some form of poultry as a pet, right? Um. If I could get any pet, honestly, I would get like the most, like the fastest bird alive. Like some form of falcon or like an eagle, like something majestic, glorious, like something that could like, something I could like snatch up like a 200 pound creature or whatever with ease and just, and just, you know, like some, something crazy, like, like a bird. I need a bird, something Maybe a vulture. I don't know, but I need, I need a big ass bird. That would be an awesome pet. Something I could just call. And like, I don't know if that's a bird. That's more like a chicken, getting his, uh, getting choked. But yeah, I don't know. A, a big ass bird would be my answer. Dude, swear to God, had fucking chickens for a pet. When I was a little kid, it's a, it's a Hispanic thing. You would you wouldn't understand. My Japanese chin. Whoa. How do you? How do you know your? Wait. You have a Japanese chin. How does how does how does how does a Japanese chin? Wait. I have so many questions right now. You would get a fox or a squirrel. Okay, I see you on that. Dude, if I... Yo! Scratch scratch the falcon. I want a Komodo dragon. Can I, Is it too late to change? What up, Joe? Haven't seen you in a while. To 99 for the bucks. DJ Wilson. I changed my, I changed my vote from like a falcon or eagle. To a Komodo dragon. I would want a Komodo dragon. And, a, and, a, and an obedient Komodo dragon. You know what I'm saying? You just got back from Atlantic City. How's that? A Japanese chin. It's an ankle biter? What is that? What if, wait, maybe this is not a good one. I was going to say, maybe maybe the gremlin, you remember the gremlin? It's a dog, a Japanese chin, huh. Yeah, I would, I would yo, you know what, the lucky dog, you're, you're, you're absolutely right. I love, I love the way you think. I like, I like your style. I think I'm going to, I'm going to change it up. I want both an eagle. And a falcon, and a komodo dragon, and a grizzly bear, and in case I need to like travel by sea, I want two sharks, two great white sharks, and an orca. And like seven bottlenose dolphins, porpoises, too. And like a blue whale, just for intimidation. And and a giant squid. I need, I need to be ganged up in the seas. You never know what's lurking down there. So 189, the no Galanari Clippers. Like, yo, seriously, like, I say it all the time. You don't know what's in those waters. I'm going to get a zoo. Hell yeah. And then when I'm in land, I got I got, I got got a homie silverback gorilla that's, that's, that has a, a mount of a... Of a uh, of a what you call it, of a like a for a lion. He's riding a lion, a silverback gorilla, riding a lion, or like a Siberian tiger. Or if we really want to take it there, and I have like the entire history of Earth to choose from as my pet, give me a T Rex, yo. Just just for the culture, just for the culture. Aquaman would be dope. Aquaman will be dope. An ankle biter. I got. I gotta look up a little Japanese chin. 
It might be in a little adorable little, little cute little dog. What is this? Thomas Bryant to two ninety nine for the Lakers. Your boa eight squirrels and ch okay, so eight. That means do you do you still have this boa constrictor, uh, Joe? I forgot to add that to my list. I mean, I kind of I kind of thought I had the the reptile game on lock, but with the, with the Komodo dragon. But I'll take I'll take a big ass anaconda that's obedient to me. That would be dope. And it, it, it like obeys my commands. What? Is that even possible with reptiles as pets? That's kind of why I like dogs. And cats, to some degree, are are obedient or whatever. Not really. Cats don't obey the laws of, of nature. Um, honestly, but dogs are fucking awesome. Dogs are the shit. He got too big, and you donated him to a snake. Well, what'd you think was gonna happen, Joe? Is that did you did you get him knowing that that was gonna happen? That you had like a dinosaur on your hands. Six out of ten, Tristan Thompson for the Cavaliers with a two color patch on that. That's not bad. If you're a Kardashian fan, you'll love that. Keeping up with the Kardashian, Tristan Thompson, six out of ten, patch auto. There you go. You had him for 10 years? Damn, yo. That's a long time. Oh, I don't even know how long a, a, a snake is like. What's the life expectancy on a snake? Especially a snake that big? Man, that's a... That's not a snake, bro. That That is honestly... That's a dinosaur. And them things get big. Because because he's... What is, what is he? Seven feet tall, choking chickens? Maybe that's why. Or maybe a, a pack of wolves for a pet would be kind of cool. Obedient pack of wolves. I like. I just like dogs. I like a creature. I like all animals, honestly. A spider that could be obedient, like insect, like insect obediency. Like, imagine if I could control like packs of mosquitoes, or a pack of gnats. Everybody hates gnats. Oh, he's 6'9"? Close enough. What is he, 3 inches short? Nah, I'll give it to him. He's 7 feet. Spiders, dog. Obedient spiders, bro. Could you imagine? You got him by the thousands. Got a J.J. Barea patch for the uh, Mavericks. A St. Bernard, dude. Those dogs are huge. No joke. I think wasn't the Saint Bernard the Cujo dog? Man, I remember watching Cujo when I was a jit when I was a kid. That movie kind of shook me when I was a kid. I ain't gonna lie. To so twenty nine Chandler Parsons Grizzlies, and I had this neighbor who just so happened to have the exact same dog too. So that didn't help. I think that's probably why. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had that irrational fear. Oh, it's some big ass giant Saint Bernard that just eats human flesh. Yeah, okay. And that is the break, people. Now we're gonna recap this thing. Let me just put this stuff away. And the recap is on its way. So there were some patches. I'll show you one of them. And there were a couple parallels that are pretty sweet too. I'll show you those two before I show you the auto. So there was a Kyle Kuzma, one of ten for the Lakers. That's pretty nice. There was a Jawan Evans, four out of ten for the Clippers. So a little Los Angeles deal going there. Uh, DJ Wilson of the Bucks, to ninety nine. There was a John Collins, ten out of ten for the Hawks. That's pretty sweet. Uh, Jordan Bell. To 99 for the Warriors and a Bama to buy it on 99 for the Heat. And the autos were 
A Tristan Thompson patch auto to 10 for the Cavs. A Derek White patch auto to 75 for the Spurs. A Will Barton autograph for the Nuggets. Del Curry autograph for the Hornets. And for the Pelicans, Frank Jackson rookie autograph to 99 for the Pelicans. And that, my friends, was the break. 2017-18 Donner's Basketball 5-box break number 19 eBay style. Thank you very much. We'll get that right out to you, eBay peeps.